Starting from the top, so we're doing an Elite Capellix cover. Uh, this one is actually gonna be an MSA design. This one's gonna look super sick. Uh, all of the fish and ring around there is going to be blacked out and the white is gonna have a lot more shine through. So that's gonna look sick. Wait to see that in the video towards the end. Down towards where we've got a bunch of like rosary style things here with the leaves and everything in the background. And I even copied the water down across to kind of blend a little bit of the design going here. And then kept the koi fish across with the red sun in the background. This is gonna be a rear case plate. So we're gonna not do a fan at the back of the case and just do one of those plates instead. I think that these will tie together really well, especially since I'm doing a very white build. So I did the white fans, white case. And then we're even gonna go with one of the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. We're gonna heat gun take these stickers off and we're actually going to try to put this on our print bed see what we can do we're going to see if we can't come up with some designs i'm thinking more white theme stuff uh we've been talking about maybe even just putting the rose design on here so let's go ahead and talk about this we'll see what we're doing here okay so first part we're gonna have to size the ram up so we do have these uh calipers here we're gonna size these guys up we want to get just the heat sink here but the issue is it's really tall so we want to get all of it up to the leds uh, and we're looking about 46, I'll say, millimeters. And then measure length here as well. We all know length does matter here. So let's give it, what, like a 138? We'll try that. So that's essentially our ram stick. Uh, we're just gonna do a big square because in the uh, on the RAM itself, before we put it on the printer, we're just gonna take some tape, mask off all the gold pins and the actual PCB itself. So we're just gonna be printing on this. Uh, first time we're doing this, so we're gonna see how it works, but I think that should work just fine. So just coming up with my own design. I think fishy should be a different font than Rose. And Snoop Dogg just over here. A little SpongeBob. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> We could make it a 10 out of 10 build. And we'd finally re get the respect we deserve. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? So it gets really stressful printing sometimes. Um, I mean, this is obviously you know high dollar equipment here. Uh, what we run into when printing is getting exact measurements, especially when we do things out of usual from our pre-cut, all the other stuff, back plates. These are all the same height. We know what height to run these for. So as long as they're flat, we're good. We can just set it to the exact millimeter that we need. It's actually a decimal point millimeter that we have to run that. But when we do things like RAM covers like this, where we have to custom measure them, uh, these ones sit a little tall on the back, so we had to lean them forward a little bit. They're metal, sometimes they can warp a little bit, especially using the heat gun and having to pry them off. So I did a good safe above measurement, because again, if we do a head strike on this, it's a lot of money to replace any print heads on this head piece here. Uh, so you can see the quality on the print just was not there on a lot of these. And you know, this might, be kind of cool to be not super in focus on these but when you look at the one like the main focus piece there that one just did not turn out hardly at all and that's what happens when you're too out of focus so i went super tall on the print height just because i'd like to be on the safe side of things i'd rather not cost thousands of dollars in damage but the problem is now that we've done that, now I'm gonna do another white layer and another print layer just on at least this specific one. I don't think I'm gonna do the other ones. Those are gonna be right in the middle anyway. I think those are fine. Just have the graphic on them, swap them in and out as is. Um, definitely a learning experience here to get you know as close to possible, but it's so hard with all these variable things. It would have taken me a long time to do it. So we're gonna do another white and then another color layer on this guy here. Might even have to do two white layers, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to rebuild the whole batch redo two white layers and then throw another print layer on it, make sure I get the exact measurement. So let's see if I can get a little closer. We printed on the new one and you can tell the difference. It's kind of drastic, uh, super in focus. And we were even talking about it, like the colors and everything on top of it just look way better uh, with everything in focus. So, I mean, clearly we got to make sure that we've got everything in focus every time we do it. It's kind of a big deal, but it makes it really tough on the printers trying to get just the right accurate head height. So let's take these, put them on the RAM. I think all we've got left is to build them now. So it should be pretty simple. So we did get them all put back together here. Um, They're all set back up. We wanted to make sure we lined them up right. So when they go into the motherboard, it's gonna drop like this. The graphics is gonna be on this side. All of the plates are the same, but not all of the pads are the same. So we had to orient them so that they'd mount back on the right way and make sure that they adhere and still give the uh, heat sink level performance to them. So, I mean, as we pointed out with like our back plates before, 
The printing does not mess with any of the heat sink quality, especially with RAM. They're not very high heat anyway. Uh, pretty low heat levels on these guys here. So uh, these are all good. We're gonna grab the rest of the parts, build all the system together. Pretty simple system we've got going on. Standard i9 Maximus board. That's gonna be pretty nice. Um, and then I'm actually using my old 2080 Ti. Let's get the build going. Z590 Hero. That's going on the reel. I have no idea. All I'm doing right now is hooking up all of my essential cables. There's not really much to do in this. I like to be pretty minimal as far as this goes. The only thing that I have to do is hook up one additional SATA cable other than what I already have to plug in with like, you know, graphics card, processor cable, things like that. I mean, this is pretty much what most O11 builds are gonna look like. It's what that custom loop one we did look like. And if this amount of cables in the back wasn't enough already, I have to add these two to the front as well. They have to go to the back. I went ahead and sized up like the support bracket. There was giving me an issue with the screws. These are a little thicker than the uh, threads in the side of the build here. And then these are at an angle, so it's hard to reach a screwdriver back there, but got that all sorted. I already went ahead and sized up the double-sided 3M circles here with the magnets. So back plate fits perfectly on the GPU here. So now all that's left is to drop the mod parts in the build. That's the personal rig. I mean, this is everything all built up. So I'm running a 10850K, one of the uh, last gen, I guess you could say, uh, Intel on nine chips. Went ahead and went with the Z590 Maximus Hero. I'm running my old 2080 Ti graphics card, still waiting on a new one. I mean, isn't everybody? Uh, we wound up going with the four by eight kit of 3200 Corsair. We did the paint on the side. I think it came out sick. We're doing white and black cable extensions with the uni fans and then just an H100i uh, Lee Capellix cooler. So, I mean, this build was sick. I really enjoyed doing it, setting up the designs and everything. That was super fun. Uh, went with a lot of these designs because some of the stuff that I want to do for tattoos moving forward. So I kind of wanted to see those concepts put on a PC. I love the artwork enough to be able to even put it on my body one day. So I wanted to try it on a, a PC build here. So this was super fun to do. I'm glad I got to set up the parts. Glad I got to build it. It looks really good. I think it turned out awesome. And thank you guys for watching. So make sure you guys comment down below, like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.